Did you find what you need, Inquisitor? Ah, I found that and then some, believe me. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. Corypheus. He did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. Just as Corypheus expects, I suppose. Is your maker now call him call down his wrath upon me you cannot for he does not exist I am Corypheus I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger bow before your new god and be spared never as Here, Corypheus. And so be it. successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place, at the wrong time, an interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of God. I didn't come here to become a god, Corypheus. How clever of you! It will avail you nothing! You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will.
at you, a soparati nipping at the heels of your betters. You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the Imperium's heel. from the very heavens.
Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus? The orb.
Are you sure? We could take the pieces. Try to... That would not recover what has been lost. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes. I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And you survive. Thank the Maker. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. <laughs> oh, now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature, the ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? And definitely your imagination. The party, the cake, it's all an elaborate dream. <laughs> Maker knows I could use the sleep. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks, the pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference and that we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. Help stop an ancient Magister Darkspawn. Not every Warden recruit gets to say that. Thanks to you, I do. That's me, helping people prove themselves to future employers. <laughs> so now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? Someone has to fix things. Might as well be me. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. Maybe you should keep working. I'll leave the title for last. Naming things is always the worst. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. 
As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. How is that good in any way, Bull? We all walked away. Chantry folk are picking up what's left of Corypheus with a dustpan and a pastry scraper. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Got anywhere in mind? If it's all the same with you, I'm pretty good right here. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But I want to. The part of me that's me needs to after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. The servants are known to do that, yes. I don't think it was about the drink. I think it was something else. Hmm. What happens next? Where do we go? For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them, then? Ugh, you sound like a sister. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? For whatever. This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. 
She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. <laughs> Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For Southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If I told you the port was a little dry, would you burst into flame? You're joking, yes? Please tell me you're joking. Oh, what a disaster. So my name is late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... And it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Thedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. Are you descending into open boasting, Lady Montillier? I can scarcely think of a better time. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. Oh, I love tiny cakes. And there's so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination. But it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor. 
for all you've done. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyor to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. This is all for you, darling. Enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Go mingle. The night is still young. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed, don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth, to make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain here, with you. I think back to how we first met, and here you stand, the Chosen of Andraste, proven in the eyes of all Thedas, and you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. You know the crisis is over, right? What's this about? Everything is about to change. You will be drawn in a hundred different directions in the weeks and months to come. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, but a new war rages in the shadows. Gaspar, it seems, has learned his lesson well. Even the elves have no rest, with Briala's uprising rocking the empire to its core. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Loghain is unknown, 
save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within? Or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She meets with their leaders, urging unity. Miraculously, her words take root, and for now, the Chantry remains strong. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.
You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. Oh. 